In an earlier video, we showed you there is a pentagram in your music. The pentagram allows easy symbolic manipulations of keys, modes and scales. But what happens if we want to play a scale across more than one octave? Let's try. Ah, that didn't work very well. If we use a circle, it turns out we can only represent one octave at a time. To play notes in more than one octave, uh, we must look for a solution in another dimension. Let's try playing our two octave scale again. OK, so that worked. Now that we can show two octaves, it turns out we can add more octaves by adding additional loops to the spiral. Now we can present as many octaves as we can hear. So what else can we do? Well, let's try adding some height to the spiral. This is going to create a cone shape. We can mold this cone into other shapes too, like a sphere. And in a future video, we'll see why this is important. But for now, back to the cone. On a piano keyboard, as you move left, the notes get lower. To the right, the notes get higher. When we look at the cone, how do we know where to find higher or lower notes? We answer this question by building our shapes out of light. Higher notes are brighter, lower notes are darker. Now, no matter how our shape is positioned, we have a sense of direction. In the next video, we're going to combine everything you've seen so far to show you how it fits together and what you can do with it. We are Create Media, and thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.